everyone, welcome back to Minty Kids. Today we're going to be reading this wonderful book called Everyone Feels Angry Sometimes, written by Dr. Daniela Owen and illustrated by Gulce Basi. Brought to us and published by Puppies, Dogs, and Ice Cream, Inc. Check the description below for a link which will take you to their site so you may purchase your own copy for your home library. Anyway, let's get to it! Anger is a big feeling. We can feel angry when we don't get what we want, when something isn't fair, or when we have to do things we don't want to do. I want it! No. Anger starts deep inside of us and grows and grows. Even though it doesn't feel good, it's okay to feel angry. Everyone feels angry sometimes. But when our anger gets too big, it explodes out of us. In fact, anger is like lava and our bodies are like volcanoes. When we are calm, the anger stays inside of our volcanoes. When we are calm, our volcanoes are cool and inactive. But when we get really angry, these feelings come bursting out, hot and destructive. This can make us feel out of control, like an erupting volcano. When our volcanoes explode, we may stomp our feet, pound our fists, kick, scream and yell, throw things, rip things, and break things. Sound familiar? Not fair! It's helpful to think about our anger in four levels. Low, medium, high, and exploding. When we feel calm, our bodies are relaxed. We speak at a normal volume and our thoughts are clear in our heads. Our anger level is low. When we get a little angry, our bodies start to feel tense. Our voices get louder or faster. Our thoughts start to speed up and become focused on the thing that is bothering us. Our anger level is medium. When we get angrier, our bodies and faces feel warm. Our hands become fists, our voices get louder. We repeat the same thing again and again. Our thoughts become focused on what's making us angry. Our anger level is high. When we get the angriest, our faces and bodies feel hot and tight. Our voices yell or scream. Our thoughts get jumbled in our heads and we usually can't focus on anything at all. Our anger level is exploding. But the good news is, there are steps you can take to control your anger volcano. Step 1. Notice your lava level. Are your cheeks getting warm? Are your hands forming fists? Do you feel like you could scream? Your lava is heating up. It's time for step two. Step two, clasp your hands behind your back. Take 10 steps away from the situation or person who is making you angry. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Step three, take 10 slow, deep breaths. Breathe in slowly, then breathe out slowly. Count each breath until you finish all 10. In, out. Step four, move your body. Moving our bodies in non-angry ways helps us release anger. 
Do 25 jumping jacks, run up and down stairs. Do 10 cartwheels or somersaults. Put on some music and dance around. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you move your body a lot. It's always a good idea to take a break from whatever is making you angry. If it's a person, tell them that you'll talk to them later. If it's a game or activity, stop doing it for now. You can finish playing later. It doesn't have to be a long break, just long enough for you to calm your anger volcano. We often feel angry when something seems unfair. If we continue to focus on the unfair thing, our anger and jealousy will grow and grow. But if we choose to think about something positive instead, our anger will get smaller and smaller. High score! Six million! You are a winner! Once you practice these steps a few times, you will start to feel more and more in control of your anger volcano. Being able to control our anger makes us feel good. Remember, everyone feels angry sometimes. Steps to calm down. Step 1. Notice your lava level. Is it low, medium, or high? Step 2. Take 10 steps away from the situation. Step 3. Take 10 slow, deep breaths. Step 4. Move your body. Movement helps release anger from our bodies. Well, everyone, that's pretty much it for today. But thank you so much for reading with me. And remember these four steps next time you get angry. That way you can be more in control of your anger volcano. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for this next week for more videos and stories like this one. Bye!